Chemistry is fundamentally about the formation of compounds and the study of their properties. Compounds are formed by breaking and making bonds. There are three general types of chemical bonds, the covalent, the ionic and the partially covalent bond. A compound is a substance formed by a combination of more than one element by chemical means. Covalent means equal sharing of valence electrons. Here you can see that the two atoms are sharing an equal amount of electron density. While no purely ionic bond exists, purely covalent bonds do exist. Here the bond has both ionic and covalent character. An ionic bond is opposite from a covalent bond. Electron density jumps from one atom to the other, so one atom gets more positive and the other gets more negative charge. Chemistry is essentially about bonding. The making of bonds, the breaking of bonds, studying molecules, predicting new ones, and synthesizing them. A bond is a purely quantum phenomena, and now that we have a background in quantum, we can apply that knowledge to study bonding. Lewis structures are based upon forming a stable octet of electrons. The eight electrons come from the two s electrons and the six p electrons to give a noble gas electron configuration. This stability is known as the octet rule. We only consider valence electrons in Lewis structures. Electron pairs are donated by a pair of dots. The fluorine atom needs an extra electron to form an octet. Fluorine can obtain an octet by sharing an electron with another fluorine atom to produce the fluorine molecule. A localized bond is denoted by replacing a shared pair of electrons with a line. Unshared lone pairs remain as a pair of dots. Note both fluorine atoms now have an octet and therefore satisfy the octet rule. Carbon has four valence electrons and oxygen has six. Drag the electron pairs to produce an octet around each atom. Note that each atom satisfies the octet rule. Since four electrons are shared between the carbon and the oxygen, we denote them by a double bond. The Lewis method does not work for molecules like NO2 minus because it would predict that one NO bond would be double and the other single while experimentally the two NO bonds are identical. We get around this by introducing the concept of resonance. We say that all possible valid Lewis structures for a single molecule are in resonance with each other. Hexagonal close packing produces a hexagonal unit cell. This is the hardest cell to visualize, and it is a good idea to do this with a set of styrofoam balls. The arrangement is ABA, with the B atom sitting in the dimples of those above and below it, on the A planes. The hexagonal unit cell is a hexagonal parallelogram.